Over prepare, my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, very clean gameplay here from Kills U so far. Being able to deal a bit with the butt slams as long as you don't get burnt out early into the round, it is not too bad. Level 3 on deck as well. Yep. He's he gonna go it. into it. Didn't um, go for the Fuha Ender, so it does have no Fuha stocks here after a super, but a very good situation after a super in the exactly. corner. Got one some nice drive gates going. Straight up one of the best level priests to land. Like, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, obviously does the damage. You get the rev. Oh my Ooh, god. Oh, the neutral yes. drop gonna bait the reversal level two kills you. Just banking on Nassim's cool reversal supers and guessing right yeah. every time. Very, very nice stuff. Honestly, kills you. Definitely was coming in here as one of the favorites. It was a super big surprise to see mm -hmm. Kane. I mean, people were saying maybe was that an upset? Like, yes, it was, I believe. So kills you was definitely. One of the strongest players in the region. And For sure. The best um, jury we have right now in Europe. Sorry, Jake <laughs> But yeah, also this match, a pawned off character not generally liked very well, but I do think Jury fights him pretty well. She's obviously very agile, um, has a couple of ways to deal with his stuff, but like just like that, Nassim Claw really rushing, kills you down here, taking a round. Ooh, did the eye though, can do it on the butt slam. With the other side, gets a massive punish counter into the corner. Insane damage. Ouch. Not getting the perfect parry again. Gonna go for the perfect parry on those frame traps as well. Yeah, Easy. besides the corner switch. Ah, uh, yeah. Great option. Yeah, the, the bar the bar situation looking very good as well for kills here. It's that Fuga stock drive rush. Over it gets blocked. Yeah, but this onslaught of medium buttons playing Street Fighter V. <laughs> Fan medium kick, please no. I mean, I saw someone on Twitter today complaining about drive rush that medium kick. It's leveled up. It's no longer just complaining yeah, about three yeah. that medium kick. It's now you got to put the drive rush in there. Yeah, as well. It's definitely an underrated drive rush normal. It's like when when people talk about Jerry drivers, like their yeah, driver's really good. She has a stand medium punch Ouch. that's like plus two inherently. But a stand MK goes very far. Ooh, Ooh. breaks the DI. Oh, can't break this one though. And with level three, gonna he spend it just to confirm three. the round. Yeah, I like sure. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I don't think there was any other way to kill, and it's it's expensive, right? You love mm. to have that three bars, of, as we said. Jury level three, very powerful, but you're in burnout. Don't even take the risk. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, Oi! The perfect parry, though. Great start to the round. The team class still has all oh, the gates he needs. Oh, Scoy. That power up, though, not to be underestimated. The hands power up is really good off like buttons like crouch HP. Oh, we see it there. Oh, he did it. Headbutts. My man. Hey, you got so much drive gauge, just do it. Why yeah, not? Yeah, yeah. Another hands power up. Yep. And your, your opponent doesn't have level three, so just doing mm -hmm. these riskier things means the punish. You know, Jury's damage is not the best, so um, especially not compared to other characters. Oh, like it. The throw. The neutral jump again. We saw it earlier as well, maybe baiting a throw. Super. Ooh. Oh, excuse me. He just did it like that. It's a reversal EX command throw. Tried to oh, DI. What the a DI. sick neutral drop from kills you to close it out against Nassim Claw, and we are in losers. So that's Nassim Claw out of the tournament just before top eight. Yeah. And kills you making it through. Kills you looking pretty good in the Honda matchup. He was ready to just. Yeah, kind of not deal with most of the. I mean, he had the purple parries down, and that's yeah. a big part of the matchup, right? Yeah, just get him scared early. I he got a lot of perfect parries early on as well. Like, a couple of them in the first two can really. Make the Honda player scared to just throw out those like specials recklessly, right? Yeah. Um, which then activates Jury's incredible ability to just rush you down, use those medium punches, use those drive rushes. Yep. Um, a lot of neutral jumps as well. Got the, the win yeah. in the end as well. Neutral jump to DI. Neutral jump super is, ones. It's just a really, really good tool in Street Fighter 6, honestly. Yeah. Because a lot of the universal mechanics mm -hmm. it deals with, right? It yeah, deals yeah. with DI. Drive rush if they don't react, if they, right? If they don't have a DP, yeah, or like, they they, back, or like yeah. for example, Honda's not going to be able to do, do, do DI into mm -hmm. headbutt, you know, for example. He obviously could get fierce. But yeah, yeah. Um, characters who don't have a cross up, usually if they if they drive rush from closer as well and you jump and they cross you up, they don't have any way to like turn yes. around their body to do the button if they don't have a yeah, DP. Buttons don't all correct, so. specials will. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, so and obviously beyond the universal stuff, some character specific stuff. Like Honda, if he goes for a light headbutt, you get punished. You know, spinning mm -hmm. knuckle from Kami, dive kick from Kami. For Basically, sure. every dive kick um, loses to neutral jumps. You know, Ken Dragon Lash, that can also yeah. get neutral jumped. There's, there's so many good tools. Like you definitely notice that players just holding up way more. Like, it is just a more effective tool. And I think also something not to, to be underestimated is like most of the buttons inherently being minus without drive rush also just opens up more people just holding up because yeah, if you're not going to get, you're not gonna get your startup frames, yeah, trapped, are you? people still obviously do like. Um, Fake pres pressure in the way that, like, if they see, if they think you're gonna parry, they will still do minus buttons into throws, stuff like that. But that also opens up opportunities. So if people are fuzzy jumping after minus buttons or even just holding up after minus buttons, it's way easier to get out. It's 
way harder to, to, to get people to stay on the ground after, yes. like, what you would do in Street Fighter is, in Street Fighter Five is you got those plus buttons. Even if you do, like, a delay press, like, press after that initial plus button, you'll still usually catch them out of the air, you know? Like, at yeah, least, exactly. at least yeah, air yeah, reset them. Yeah. You, you do, feet. like, almost, you do your counter hit confirm, and then because of the plus light button, the crouch strong was still gel, yeah. like, you know, things but like that. But in this game, if you... If you try to like stagger a bit with a minus button, which is still a valid option in this game, if they're holding up, they'll always be out because like they just you don't, yeah, you, don't you just frames. don't have the frames, yeah. Exactly, and uh, uh, jumping is very powerful as well because uh, some of the jump in normals in this game are just massive. Like yeah. <laughs> they're just massive. And they're so also not normal easy. anti is uh, if you rely on them, you know you got to time them very very mm -hmm. well and space them very well. Um, so that, and you know, even cross cutting and stuff like that, there are certain cross up angles which are just almost impossible. Almost impossible. So um, that's obviously by design. It's a good way to get out of the corner as well. If you if you find that spacing, mm -hmm. um, and it's down to you, the you know the person who's got them in the corner to play around that. Yeah, even the best players in the world definitely struggling to enter air consistently. I feel um, when the jump in's good, it's but it's near that's impossible. That's why you also got perfect power, right? You see a yeah. lot of people starting to do these perfect power, especially on those impossible cross ups. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You see that perfect parry because that's your best option. Because mm -hmm. uh, if they try and jump out, you get the perfect uh, parry into the back throw. You keep them in the corner. Yeah, jumping um. against, uh, parrying against jump is very underrated. I think it's yeah. something I use a lot as like kind of a byproduct of my bad end tires, but like <laughs> it's really good in the ways like people usually don't really start out with baiting it. And baiting it is pretty risky in the sense that you have to empty Neutral jump, jump, which yeah. is, yeah. Yeah. And you're not really using your like mm -hmm. big jumping normals that we said are really strong. So um, yeah. coming up next, I think we got, yeah, Mystic Smash versus Akainu. Ooh, that's going to oh, be... Such a banger set, man. It's, yeah. it's sad. It's going to be sad. Uh, I love Mystic Smash to bits. You know, he's, he's, he's a homie. And uh, obviously from the UK as well. But Akainu, you know, he's he was my sensei. He taught me Street Fighter Five. Oh, and, really? Uh, got me into Street Fighter. So it's probably one of the reasons I'm here now. Um, and so... A bit of a clash of interests. Yes, and I play Gar, so I got a, yeah, I got yeah. a you know, root for the Gar player as well. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Said, what, what do you think about a matchup like DJ? Can he deal with the the guile zoning? Uh, he's got good tools, yeah, because his heavy air slasher does beat the Sonic Blade. Yeah. So unless it's EX, but Gar just inherently just has better. He you don't want to play the Fireball game because yeah, true. he has answers to things that you don't. Mm -hmm. um, even though you do have answers to some of the things, so like normally what guys like to do if you're being patient at least they can set up a blade and then they can walk in behind yeah, it and that's sure. very powerful we've seen it with other slow fireballs mm -hmm. the drive rush right um and guy could do the same but obviously dj can just heavy air slasher it um yeah, yeah so yeah. he has a good counter play towards that but yeah it, it is you don't want to play that fireball game basically something inter interesting in this game as well is like what they change is like the e if you use ex fireball it basically beats all multi-hitting fireballs that are not ex right so yes, if, you, if you do have that blade and and Mystic manages to get like an EX Fireball of his own, it, it will just take back his turn as well. So yes. I think these like Fireball War type of matchups, which it might not even be, but like these Fireball characters playing against each other is very interesting where you see EX Fireball become actually quite an important tool in the matchup, especially for characters like Ken who often EX Fireball punish counter can just get like a driver's conversion. So exactly. it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see how Mystic approaches the matchup. It's like very good at pressuring with that DJ, just staying yeah, patient. Yeah, I think that's the game you're going to want to play, right? Again, we yeah. talk about the Fireball game a lot, but I mean, DJ rarely wants to play a Fireball game. Like, his mm -hmm. Fireballs are mm, they're usable, right? Especially the heavy air slash could be pretty good. But, you know, there's a reason why he's got a feint, because the frame data yeah. doesn't support him, so he's got to, like, fake you out sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so, probably going to play just standard Street Fighter Six. you know? Fry rushing in, DJ. He's good at that. <laughs> he, he, he's and a little uh, bit good at I think at they're that, already yeah. doing some button checking, which is probably a smart idea again. Yeah, we will get a button check. Oh, I saw someone in the chat. It kind of looks like a Michelangelo statue, man. I got to tell <laughs> that. Yeah. This guy is. Oof. Not act. wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. But we believe we'll see a lot of hashtag mystic sweep in the chat. I love it. Obviously, going getting top eight in uh, Strive earlier as well. Yeah, got fifth. My um, man, obviously, the DNF God as well. Um, and now in Street Fighter 6, obviously he was a big player in Street Fighter 5 as well. He's a very strong yeah, player. Don't be surprised to see strong. him here as well. We've had a poison. Um, I think uh, he qualified for like, a lot of the Capcom stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, very strong player. Right. So, yeah, currently just button checking up. And we'll get the matchup very soon. Obviously, still first to two, but this is a loser side uh, battle to get into that top eight. So, a lot on the line for both these players here. Yeah, both players definitely looking to make it far, you know. I think for a lot of players here as well, it's it's one of the first big offline Street Fighter tournaments. Um, Street Fighter 6 tournaments, that is. So a lot of pressure on a lot of these players who want to do really well. We've maybe been competing in these online tournaments. 
look to really make their, you know, do really well in this tournament, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I just realized, I forgot. The, I don't know how it does it. Akainu is like a, a Guile player, but he plays mm -hmm. on pad. I know, I think Knuckle do plays on pad as well. How do you guys do it, man? Oh, it's I play on pad as well. <laughs> but like, charge characters, I thought that'd be hard as hell. I feel like, I, I find it hard finding a down back <laughs> with a circle gate, you know? Like, jeez. Wouldn't that be easier? Because the pad is so I small. Use so like a pad. Like possibly, possibly. I find it harder, but. I mean, I think if you if you play a charge yeah, character, because he plays with joystick. That's the thing. I know it kind of oh, plays with, he the, plays with the, the joystick. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. Okay. 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 I play on pad as well. Uh, yeah. Shooty. I want to see some shooties for sure. Uh, uh, do you prefer perfect or shooty? I'm gonna stay with perfect, just because mm. Luke has just ingrained into my brain. You know, all this combo was also uh, screaming he perfect. Is perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. You gotta get some unique ones in there. I, th I think I prefer shooty though. I think I prefer shooty. It would be funny if they like. Could just change it in game as like a setting, and you play against like a Gal player, and you change the setting and just throws off their combo game, and just start missing their combos. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they're so used to saying perfect. Yeah, because they're, they're like they're, their brains listening for uh, like the, the, the perfect audio cues. cue. Yeah, the audio <laughs> cues. They, they're like, wait, that's not what I know. Yeah, shooty goes hard. I can't lie though. Yeah, Kainu saw him yesterday very early on in the venue, just practicing his combos. Yeah, you getting, mentioned it. Like obviously, yeah. a lot of people coming in from playing on PCs, probably the mm -hmm. most predominant uh, way most people play yeah, for on sure. a competitive level. And on PS5, there is a mild difference, right? Uh, and especially for Gar, who I think is probably one of the most technical characters in the game. Yeah. Uh, you got to get really, really good at uh, practicing the, the boom loops on it. But okay, yeah, Mystic also had a great JP at the beginning of the game. He just did. focused on DJ. Um, and JP notoriously known for beating up on Gar, one of the one of the characters that yeah. really really gives Gar a hard time. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. If, if anything, a kind of would have practiced matchup to to know how to win. You know. Yeah, I guess DJ doesn't really fight Guile well on top of the fact that, as you mentioned, JP is very strong into Guile. So he's going to test out his golf, uh, JP first, see how it does. But yep. um, yeah, that zoning game with DJ, as we said before, is probably just quite losing for DJ. Um, JP the other way around, though, one of the characters who can really contest Guile from a far range. Yeah, you can't do it. The, the, the tri the trick lab is just too Ooh. powerful to get around the booms. But no, no, no one needs to have the life lead. No one needs to have this life lead. A trade not in Mystic's favor. First round going to Akainu. Drive Rush is behind the fireball. We already see Akainu just recognizing that this matchup is not a zoning oh. matchup for Gal. It's just how did he have man. And just reacting to everything with one of the things that Akainu is best at is just flash kicking everything, man. Yeah. He's incredibly fast with those reactions. And it's it's something you don't see often, right? Oh, it's, again. Oh, again. No fireballs allowed. Stand HP. Any fireball cancels an instant flash. I kick. don't even think even the, the feint is not even going to be fast enough to avoid getting I think Akainu is too fast to put, like, yeah. he will punish the feint with the flash kick. You want to burn out, which is tough against JP. Definitely the worst character being burnt out against. Yeah. Level 2, he can set up a block of with it if he wants it, things like that. Um, going to teleport in. Teleport. It's really interesting to watch this matchup because that will usually, obviously, the character on the on the holding back kind the end of the uh, spectrum, right? Yep. But like, we really see him go in here, like, recognizing oh, that this matchup is not a zoning matchup to play and just really utilizing Gal strong buttons, pressure with the fireballs. Yep. Also, I'm sorry, shooty fans, this is a perfect game. It is a perfect game. Perfect. What's yeah, Mystic. I oh, no way. What? It's, that's the X factor right there. You got to do it. Yeah. We convert into the Sonic Summer Soul. All right. Yeah, and I got to say, I feel this oh, matchup yeah. might be in JP's favor, but he really looks like he knows how to play the matchup. Doesn't sit full screen at all, just goes in, really pressures JP, where even though he has that, you know, that OD and Niji, a very scary option, but like if you leave him no time to breathe and you have like a semi-good read on, on yeah. the defensive habits, it's, it can be very scary for JP to get rushed down, even though the strong zoner he is. Yeah, again, I think uh, most people thought, you know, obviously JP does well with Tagal, but and I think he does because he forces Guile to play a different way and he yeah. forces, forces him to play away from you know his usual strengths. But, I mean, he still has great normals. He can still he play does. this rushdown. He's still got your dry rush bazooka knee. He's still yeah. got you know, yeah. EX Sonic Blade to like pressure. And you know when you're reversal, it doesn't work against projectiles. Um, yeah, the, the meaty Sonic Blade stuff that I know akainu has got in his back pocket will blow you up. I but also wonder, yeah, uh, Mystic has been obviously focusing on the DJ, exactly, so yeah. I don't know if he had some rush with the JP. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Mystic. He was probably ready to play GP at any time, but yes, like, yes, um, to... yeah, he's been he's been grinding that DJ. He's gonna pull out here, just maybe a bit more of a comfort pick, even exactly. if the matchup is inherently a bit like less favorable. Yeah, I mean, realistically, what you're trying to do is you're gonna counter pick a character that does well into a character versus the guy who would have practiced the matchup so much that he's he's gonna be better at you. Yeah, exactly. still gonna have to know the matchup. 
Yeah, yeah we see the Fireball War here, and the EX Fireball is definitely a staple of these type of wars, because we saw earlier as well, Mystic with the uh, Heavy Fireball 2-hitter, Galdun EX Fireball completely obliterates the Fireball, gets the initiative, and then the other way around as well, right? Mystic gets that EX Fireball going. Yep. And, and because of the way the EX Fireball works, and it's extremely plus at that range, he gets the time to drive rush in behind it as well. Yeah, this, um, DJ's Fireball as well. EX Fireball, very scary if it hits, always gets the drive rush conversion. Exactly, that's terrifying. There's a blade set up right set in front where you blades. jump in. And there it is, the EX Sonic Blade oh, nice. Nakaini there. Now into set point. Mystic just can't find an answer to this Sonic Boom pressure. Rounds the hard DI, you know, again, you gotta sometimes send it, the X back, dude, mix them up, make them think. But you're gonna get punished for it for 30% of your life. I mean, DJ does so much damage and now you're in the corner. Ooh, the fake in the throw. So tricky, man. Party time! Blocks. Oh my god, the flash kick, the prayer instance of a Kainu missing on the flash kick. Optimal punish. Yeah, no meter spent at all. Just coming into this last round with a perfect and three bars. Decides to back off, decides to play the Fireball War in the beginning of the round a bit. It's Fireball, Drive Rush behind it. Scratch medium kick. Of course, a very fast pseudo sweep, or I mean, it just is a sweep. Yep. I want to see one person punish the uh, low forward into overhead TC from Guile. It's minus five. Stand short it. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> oh, big Ooh, overhead. the overhead. Yeah, on the drive, you actually get the full conversion. Going to spend that level three. Definitely spend Look how here. close he is to burnout. That's going to put him out. Give him plenty of time to regen. And yeah. obviously, it's Guile, so he's going to be able to set up the blade or just a boom here. Yeah, very good to spend the uh, super there, regain the drive gauge. Oh, what a way punish, but the fierce was just out of range. That's so unfortunate. That is very... Oh, oh, what the patience from Akainu. Just drive rushing in and just standing just there, standing staring. There. Very smart, right? Like, Mystic Smash is stuck in the corner. Both players are pretty low, um, have pretty low OD gauge. But yeah, he just doesn't need to do anything. Mystic is the one who is under pressure there. Yeah. He can get the eye, he can just get chipped by fireballs more in the corner. Yeah. Kind of just stays to wait. Mystic decides to gamble it. Definitely not a bad choice, right? He has to do something. You know, Patience. Five, six, you know, if you block in, in that corner, you're going to lose. So yeah. Tries to bet it all in that EX jackknife kick. But uh, yeah, they're kind of making it into that top eight loser side. Very Obviously, solid. got sent down um, by Problem X. So mm -hmm. yeah, very scary stuff. But you know, that good showing for Mystic in that ninth place finish. Very impressive stuff either way on the DJ. Maybe maybe it would have been a different timeline if he did stick with that DJ on that game one. You never maybe. know. Can't, you can't question yourself too much. It definitely, did the, it definitely did look a bit better on the yeah. on the DJ than the JP. A lot more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nonetheless, very great performance. And um, it's not the last we're going to see of him, right? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, especially on Street Fighter 6. Mm -hmm. Not Strive, apparently. This guy just... I mean, it did you matter. see the tweet? Did you see his tweet? No, what is it? Oh. He, he qualified for top eight winner's side on Guilty Year, and then he just posted a Steam shot when he last played the game. And let's just say, nah. it was a little while ago. Nah. <laughs> right, that's cold. That's cold. That is too much. Some, some people just build different. I it's know, it's right? the only way to put it. Sorry, like, yeah, he can just play a game, like not play a game for however long he wants. He, he'll, you'll see his name. You'll see his name on stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, he's that type of player. Yeah, I'm jealous. Sure. Same. I can barely pick up a new character in like a week. You know, <laughs> this guy's put. Flipping switches, picking different games, man. <laughs> Not fair, man. He picks up characters like uh, he picks up games like we pick up characters. You know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. That's why he's a sponsor. That's why he's in it full time, eh? You know. No. Nope. No great performance from Akainu. Definitely uh, one of the favorites coming into this after his incredible performance at Red Bull Kumite, South Africa. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And yeah, I think we've only got uh, one or two matches left to find out who's going to make it through that top eight losers match. Um, I mean, the top eight losers side even. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've seen, obviously, kills you versus Nassim Claw. Kills you went through 2-0 in that loser side now. Akainu versus Mystic Smash, another 2-0. Akainu's now in that loser side. We're going to get Zansetsu versus Freywa May. Uh, I guess probably the last remaining JP we have this far into the tournament. Looks like it. Yeah, Zantetsu can definitely kind of a bit of a surprise name for me. I, I'd heard of him before, but like I think he, he has a lot of support. He's been playing great. On that Marissa, very scary character. I feel like yeah. she's also very Terrifying. scary offline. I, I know that sounds maybe a bit weird, but it's, it's just she hits so hard. And she's one of those characters, one, once they play like quite erratically, it's like almost easier to win against. But once it's in the hands of like a really <laughs> strong player and they know when to like, they know how I to know hold back and just start dealing, dash, like dealing a lot of damage. And they know like a yeah. level of patience where 
you know you can't make a mistake because yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know we've seen it you know charge stand fierce seven thousand damage if you got level three sure. like uh, let's be honest the combo is not hard like yeah. <laughs> they, they're not gonna drop that <laughs> i'm not gonna go with there but yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's a lot of damage for not a lot of moves that's all i'll say um and you could happen you know with od amnesia it's like that so that makes you scared and that makes you play a little bit more scared than you normally would mm -hmm. um and that's how you know she gets a lot of stocks right just gonna be pressuring you and um you're always gonna be afraid to try and challenge with something because you know one mistake one with punish mm -hmm. and you're smoked you're out of the tournament basically yeah <laughs> As you said before, maybe not really a super easy matchup to navigate around with Marissa against that JP. Um, but we've seen Big Bird, arguably the best Marissa, b best Marissa in the world, right? Um, yes. Do it, so it's... I don't think you could argue that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah <laughs> same. It's <laughs> not arguable, I think, at the moment. Not right um, now. But yeah, let's see if he, you know, if he has some of the same game plans that Big Bird was able to develop it against the character. Or if it's going to be, you know, a struggle to get in, maybe get a lot of that zoning going. Yeah, yeah, that will be will be interesting. Very um, obviously, very strong on that JP. Yeah, definitely one of the best. Definitely for sure. Um, just getting them ready. Um, yeah, who who would you like to see in Street Fighter Six? Obviously, we've got the DLC coming up. Got Rashid coming in just like a couple of weeks. Uh, but obviously, there's way more characters on the on the horizon. Yeah. We know, but is there any character that you'd want? I'm I don't know if you played any of the older Street Fighters or yeah. So I, I play a lot of Street Fighter Five and near the end of Street Fighter Four as well. So. My main in SF4 was Rose. Rose? In, in oh. SF5, I played Colleen. So Colleen? Okay. Fair I enough. wouldn't mind either of those characters coming out, but you know, I think SF5 has like a very interesting system that like some characters would be really cool, even, even yeah. if I don't personally like them that much. Like, I think, I think Rashid is a great addition, for example. Right, right, right. Even though he wouldn't really be like a main for me, I think he's going to be very fun. He looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to try him, right? He's, he's yeah. really fun. Uh, and he, he looks like a terror. <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> in um, a good way, in a good way. Yeah, but and we've seen the SF6 design team, right? After the last two years of Street Fighter Five as well, they've really come through. Like, yeah, yeah, you're developed right. Developed their own style, really just showed that they know what they're doing. Developed really interesting characters. I think every character that yeah. the... Um, yeah, like, <laughs> every character that they developed is... Oh, Sorry, <laughs> just quick people on the stream. We've operated, we've opened them <laughs> up. We, we've done surgery on the, uh, on the PS5. And now we're blowing direct cold yeah. air. We should get some ice behind that fan as well, just to like really, really emphasize it. That's definitely part Keep of it that. Cool. Uh, we need some people fanning it down. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely part of that uh, PlayStation Switch pit stop we talked about earlier. The flow <laughs> chart is in its yeah. full effect. Side plates are overrated, indeed. The PS5 is going to explode. It dro <laughs> drop the weighted clothing. My God. We're going to get l much less delay now, much less uh, input delay. We're going to be back. It's like minus two frames. You're going to be yeah. playing in the past. That's how good the frame delay is going to be. I think if we see one punish counter charge stand HP from a reset, it's just going to give. Like it's just going <laughs> to give in. Like the PS5 is going to give in. It's <laughs> over. It's, it it's just over. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty fun. Yeah, water call him. Yeah, pour, pour some water on it. See what happens. <laughs> Probably not. Actually, if you poured water with absolutely no minerals in it, it wouldn't do anything. So, I'm not gonna. Say I'm a scientist. I, you can trust me. I'll, I'll trust you. I'll, I'll pour you. water put, on my put PS5. I'll water. Pour water on my it's PS5. It's hard to get sure. water that pure, though, so good luck, basically. Ooh, the empty jump into the punish counter. Overhead gets the pressure going straight away. DI off the, after the DR, incredibly difficult to react to. Yeah. It's got to be on your mind, though. I don't think I've seen on stream yet someone react to DI in the corner. But again, it's, it's the mental stack, right? When someone never does it, it's the last thing on your mind. Yeah, funnily enough, we saw Zantetsken react earlier with his parry, right? But just like yes. that, the perfect just... I don't think we saw a single projectile from Freya. Just yes. absolutely relentless pressure. Yeah, I mean, funny enough, the only time we saw that someone uh, you know, react was Zantetsuken. But he was in burnout, which was, he was it's already burnout. in your mind, you know, at yeah. that point. So but you, you know, give one option, right? Yeah, exactly. Still impressive, nonetheless. Yes, yes, of course. Very impressive. Oh, the X-Lad with the projectile. The back is still going to swing it back. Gets still going to get in the corner. corner. And this is it, right? This is this matchup. Marissa not that mobile. Ooh, Ouch. as I say that, uh -oh. stand HP. Big well, he's going to spend it all. Okay. He's going to spend it all. He's going to build level 3 very soon, though. So even though he is in burnout, he might just build level 3 off any confirm. Ooh, the level 3 coming. Nice. Yeah, I felt like that was coming right there. Sunset Suken. Reversal level 3 is going to put him in a great position as Burnout. Yeah, definitely reacted to the Fireball, right? Puts him in Burnout. Very good situation. Builds back his own bar. It's going to be 
Oh my god, the huge drive rush fierce, man. That drive rush fierce so strong. Cobbles need to very big button as well on counter hit. On punish counter, you can't even do back yes. HP. I think it's plus on block too, right? Obviously, yeah, it gets yeah. a pretty large amount of push block on block. So, hard to take full advantage of the plus frames. Can't get with throw mix up, oh my goodness. Big hit here, though. Yeah. Just gonna get the zoning going. Sets up the portal. The medium portal, very strong as well, because it kind of locks down the driver approach. Makes it oh, Excuse me? He just add through him like that? What? That was incredible. Heavy portal. You see him use the feints as well, make him like bait the parry. Parry obviously costs 0 0.5 bar to activate in the first place, so driver should through that projectile, not active until the end of the frames. Neutral jump gets entired. EX Glad is not a great option. Juggles after the EX Spike. Very, very clean gameplay here. Going yeah. up around. A little bit cleaner. Yeah, for I mean, sure. You have to be clean versus Marissa. That's the that's the top, that's the hard part. Yeah, you can say what you want about JP, but he's definitely one of the characters where you kind of got to be on point where you can't really miss your zoning sequences. Ooh, jumps the command grab. Yep. Was a back jump. EX Amnesia. Oh my god, that's burnout that as well. That's burnout. Uh oh, uh oh. That's uh -oh. scary. Ooh, 2, plus. two plus. Suffering from success. The, the burnout. burnout. Yeah, the plus four frames. We see that happen so much these days. When people are in burnout, they miss their tick throws because, well, not that time, because he got hit. Nice, yeah. if, that was, if he blocked that, he would have missed that command grab. <laughs> two plus again. 100%. Maybe with a jump light kick. Yeah, exactly. All right, set point for Zantetsuken. And this is again for that top eight. Loser side. Lot on the line, heavy big, punch, heavy punch, and a full confirmation. The as next well. hit will kill. I know this is crazy. Oh, he did it. He was unafraid. He was almost in burnout, though. It's on the two, and this is, is pretty bad. Even with the level three, it's gonna be hard to get a hit here. Oh, nice. nice. The drive rush confirmed off of the uh, departure spike. Yeah, decides to just again. Ooh. Not this time, though. This time, not plus enough after a trade. Level three, that's gonna be blocked. This oh, oh, no! What was that? How did the round in the bag still could have it in the bag? There it oh, is. Okay, there it okay, is. has the composure. Clutches it out. All right, one to one. one, one. In a <laughs> slightly scary situation. Yeah, that right was in like there. a stand HP punish counter. You can just do drive rush into another stand or crash HP into a combo. I think he just barely missed the timing there, yeah. creating a very scary situation. But that's the nerves, man. Great, nice. great whip punish on that stand phase. Yep, you do manage to make it with. We'll set up the portal again. Very uh -huh. scary to deal with. No need to teleport either. Just the spike on now is so scary. Pretty much homes as well, so. Nice. That's going to be a throw on the parry as well. Yeah. Getting closer to Burnout without doing all too much with his meter. Just stuck Ooh. full screen. Nice. Nice. Confirm right there off that drive rush flow forward. Town hit, burn out. GG's go next round because there's nothing <laughs> you can do. And that's very well made now in set point. Yeah, for really, after that first round, really finding his ground and just Out. zoning. Overhead, though, goes into Oki, and this is really where you want to be with the Marissa in this matchup. Oh, DI gets countered. The counter DI, this time for one may reacting. And we're going to cash out on so much damage in such a good position as well. The portal, though, oh. still there. Oh, nice. But now this could be done. If he goes into level two, this is a good. As a level three as well, maybe he wants yes, to save true. it. Could definitely went to level two to level two and burnout pretty much an unblockable. Ooh. Exactly. If he gets exactly. set up for it. There's only one frame of standing up between the third and second second and third hit. Just zoning full screen. Zonton scan builds back his meter. Oh, Ooh, gets zoned though. No confirm to the super off the EX spike. Uh, one more projectile. Anything landing here. It's gonna close yeah, it out and the low the goes low. gonna come in. And Fro and May just keeps that composure. Full screen zoning. Keeps the Marissa out and uh Goes into that top eight loser side. Nice. Well played. Very well played. Very well played. That first round, Zantetskan definitely looking like he, he had a plan, you know. Really when Ning got a lot of offense going, but just after that, Freya quickly adjusting, got that zoning. Just honestly never dropped the ball on like the caging. Was always very on point. Even the air throw we saw in game one, very scary. Yep. Just always ready. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that air throw was insane. Like, I, thought, yeah. I think I saw Shu in chat, another Marissa player, and he was just like, why would you air throw there? Yeah. And that's exactly what friggin. Zansetsuko was probably thinking, why would you add through there? It's something we <laughs> it's saw Kakiri so do a lot as well in... Um, <laughs> yeah, Kakiri, yeah. he's built different though. He was air throwing TK Everything. Dami dive kicks. Like, I don't know how, bro. <laughs> that guy was actually If he crazy. had you in the corner, if you had you in the corner and you just, you pressed up at any point, you, you were air thrown. I mean, why does he have an air throw? Tell, look at that design and tell me 
So that guy should have an air throw. Because otherwise he would be crossed up, man. You, you yeah, can't yeah, let true. it happen. You can't and let then it he can steal the corner pretty easily as well because he can throw back in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry, my he bad. doesn't even have a forward throw. I think it's only back throw, actually. So. I think we're going to get our last set. It's going to be Luffy up against um, Valmaster. That was it. Hard to tell with that hat on. A bit of a uh, <laughs> potential team kill. Yes, yes. Obviously the French, the French, obviously French. The French Brigade really coming through. A lot of very yes. strong players from France coming over to this tournament. Luffy, one of the best to do it. Exactly, he Used yeah. to be and still is. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, the Terror with that, with that Mika, especially in Season 1. Yeah. Um, oh, Street Fighter 5. Kind of found the uh, equal surrogate, in Manon. Yeah, the, the yeah, the surrogate, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Obviously, a grappler. Definitely a grappler player, Luffy. Nicest guy you'll meet. That's how you know he's a grappler player. <laughs> See, <laughs> is the PS4 holding up? Can we get a small round of applause for the PS4? Uh, PS5, PS5 yeah. yeah. <laughs> holding up. The fan Loki, the MVP of this <laughs> tournament. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I do love it. I think the players are trying to cool off too. I'd be like that. Put, yeah. put my head in between. It's definitely a bit better today with yeah, the way uh, better. more windows <laughs> are open. PS7. PS7. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cracked me up, Damascus. So good. Cooling systems. Too advanced. Yes. Yeah. Just put it in like buckets of ice. Some of that. <laughs> Gonna be very interesting though. Who, who you liking so far from who you've seen like this entire tournament? Uh, like who's gonna take it or who do I like to see? Both. I mean, obviously, I love to see Akainu. I like to see some guile. Um, I mean, Kane, obviously coming in. Kane, such a treat to watch. Yeah, and on the Ken, uh, I think we got all unique characters in that top eight, which is super, super exciting. Mm -hmm. um, if I have a look, so far we've obviously got Problem X, Lily, Kane, Ken. on on Ken. Uh, Andy Walker, you know, Ryu, Ryu or Honda, Honda yeah. uh, Joker Jokes, Kami, Kainu, Gaio, Kills You, Jury, Frey Wame or JP, and either what will be likely a Chun Li um, or, or Manon. Manon. Yeah, so, rates, yeah, yeah, all unique characters, really, really exciting top eight. Which uh, is pretty crazy, like considering there's only 16 characters in the game right now, so. Yeah, but if I had to pick one, probably, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say Andy Walker. You know what? You know, I think now's his time. Now's his time. He's got that X factor, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 for sure. We've seen him have plenty of offlines now. And he's very, been very consistent, right? But he hasn't mm -hmm. really, outside of the Red Bull Kumite qualifier for the last chance qualifier, yeah. hasn't really managed to get that big win. Um, but hey, he did it, you know, last yeah. year on Street Fighter Five. He can definitely do it now on Street Fighter Six. And he's, from what I've seen, he's been looking extremely good. Yeah, like, way better sure. than I've seen him play before. Mm -hmm. What about you? Yeah, I'm not sure it's so difficult. Everyone's so strong here as well. I, I'd really like to see like a new character win as well. Maybe, maybe not a jury, maybe not a, a Guile, <laughs> but... Uh, win, are we cool? Yeah. I mean, I would really like to see Luffy win, I'm going to be honest. Uh, you want that. You want the yeah. win. No, 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 no. That's, <laughs> that's dangerous. That's dangerous. It's, I don't like playing against Mono, but I do think she's really cool. And I think just the way Luffy plays, no matter the character, is just really interesting. Um, and always fun to watch. Always very neutral heavy. No, went to go crazy, right? That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the, the important yeah. part of, uh, <laughs> of Manon players. I mean, uh, pretty much every Manon player I talk to, they're like, yeah, I just basically play extremely solid. And the thing I like about Manon is that I can just turn it up to 11 whenever I want. And yeah. if you're not ready, like, I win the game. So, and it's just like, yeah, he, they faint you out by playing the most honest Street Fighter you've ever seen. And then just five seconds of the generous. Yeah, exactly. Just, yeah. just enough. Just enough. Just to get you into that top eight. Which is, That's uh, what makes all he needs right now is going to need... Ah, five seconds of degeneracy up against Valmaster. No faces? Come on, I mean, Chun Li. Chun Li, also, character that's like. Some people call her like a, a month six character, you know? She needs a lot of development with those like stance cancel and just other oh, tech that she has. Oh, very good jumping, though. Gets an early medal, corner pressure as well. Oh, wow, big. Another stand strong. one. That's another medal. You're in the corner. He's just gonna. Oh, okay. Easy, yeah. That yes, command grab. Oh, I mean, the, the overhead after the command, uh, the hit grab is always guaranteed, but not this time. Ooh, misses the combo, but connects anyway. <laughs> a reset, French reset, we're going to call it this time. French reset, I like it. Then your opponent just gets hit anyway. Hey, would have killed, so you know what? True. Fair enough. Three medals, though, already. Not too shabby after a first win. Wow, that's Easy. an early burnout. Ten seconds in, Bowmaster. Luckily, Chun Li, pretty good at defending herself with burnout, has the. As the uh, oh wow the oh one hiccup nice. the level one that stalls for a little bit of time. Going yep. yeah going on burnout so early as well not too shabby like if you're still at full HP and you're going burnout it's pretty easy to recover before like a crucial part so of the match. Happens. 
So, <laughs> unfortunately, versus Manon, you know, it doesn't take long Ooh, for something bad to yeah, happen. And there the it last is. little frame, look at that burnout gauge, nearly fully recovered, but still happening. You'll be scared of this command grab. That'll be the fifth one, the low forward to challenge. No way. That should be enough. Level one here to level juggle. One. That's not enough. Doesn't kill. Is he jumping over to Fireball? Koken. Burn Burnout is extremely dangerous versus Manon. And there it is again. Just because, like, she's designed to not have any ways of making herself plus. But you're in Burnout, and uh, everything's plus. Everything's so. plus. You're playing Street Fighter V all of a sudden. And now the command grabs are even scarier. Manon also an interesting character in the sense that, like, she's one of the characters where if you're guaranteed to lose a round, you can actually, you have an other objective to play for. You can play exactly. for those medals. It's a very interesting aspect of her game design, I'd say. Some people don't like the medals, of course, but I do think it's quite interesting where even if you've lost, you, yeah. you, you still have something that could, oh. you know, carry through. Nice drive, impact counter. That's going to be a big combo here from Valmaster. Yeah. He's going to go for the save jump. Nope. No, it just decides to yeah, go for a defire Stay away. Ball. Stay away. Yeah, too much distance as well. Especially, like, if Luffy perfect packs the safe jump, you can't get punished, but you're still in a command throw mix-up. Yeah. So, good luck. Um, but, yeah, you're right. Like, the metal things is really interesting to say because, like, I do like that a lot because it, as I'm a non-player, you're always happy. Like, even yeah. if you're losing, you're happy because i got something else to do. Like, I've got to yeah, get like, medals. Like, if I get a medal and I lose the round, I'm like, yeah, let's go. Mentally, you're never out of the game. Yeah, you're on the back foot. You're like, it's fine. Mental reset. I'm just <laughs> going to get some medals. Let's go. Exactly. Next round. Next round. Jeez. Yeah, Valmaster here, very big life lead. Isn't Burnout is going to build oh. back his bar, and the Fireball will connect, going up 1-0 versus Luffy in this top 16 losers match. Yeah, if chun has got the space to run away like that, it's so out of catch -er. Fastest walk speed in the game by a considerable margin. No punish, though, on the extra anniversary. Yeah, that Fireball doesn't really seem to have that much of an extended hurry, but it's very fast recovery as well, so that EX hit grab not connecting there as it did with Ryu earlier. Yep, save jump. Dot medium kick gets parry, no perfect parry, however, as you talked about earlier. Just some more zoning from Valmaster. He's really happy to back off in this matchup. Doesn't really want to get close, as most characters don't against the command grabber. But knows to when to go in at the right time into the level one to close out. Yeah, very nice. Round. Chun -Li, low forward, one of the best low forwards in this game. Yeah, definitely. And really nice hit confirms off of it from Valmaster on set point now. That's that light punch, very strong as well, not to be underestimated. And HK. Nice. I like the little walk back to get the spacing. And Bam has on the first knockdown and just goes, nope. He extends short kicks. He's not going to deal with any medals, any pressure. Why not? DI. No reactions. That style eye punch we talked about. It's just so strong, goes so far. He's okay. confirmed. Just jab, jab, jab. Token. Wow, the anti, anti air. Jab. Oh, look at that. Off of one bad jump in. Already losing like 20% of your health right there. Finding the nice cross up here though. Luffy in with a chance. Ooh, Immediate. another reversal. Don't block, guys. Don't block. Don't block. Blocking is a meme. Don't block. You know what happens when you block? You get thrown. Both players in burnout. Got him in the corner. Forge up. Nice 2H. Oh, oh but boy, he had a hit confirmed. But no. And just like that, Valmas is going to punish. Take the game. It's Take the hit. set. Two to one, and that is our final player into that top eight in the yeah. loser side. And uh, that is also the final game, obviously, before top eight. Yeah, so, with our uh, top eight, very exciting. All players, obviously, very yes. names everyone will know. We'll quickly go through everyone in that top eight bracket before we go away for a break. Uh, but on the winner's side, obviously, we've got Ending Walker. Yeah. we got uh, versus Kane, I believe. Uh, and then Problem X versus... Uh, I think... Oh, no, Andy Walker versus Joker jokes. jokes. Yeah. And then Problem X versus Kane. Um, and then in the loser side, we're going to have Akainu versus Kills You. Another team kill. And then Frey Wan Mei and Valmaster. So yeah, like you said before, I think it's awesome to see just